Hi, this is Pastor Craig, and I'd like to welcome you to this edition of Ask Pastor Craig. Thank you for joining me this evening. My question this evening is this. I am a Christian, but I'm feeling really frustrated. I don't have a lot of support around me from my friends or from my family. In fact, many times my faith is even discouraged. How do I stay strong in these kinds of situations? I feel like giving up. I feel like giving in. Well, you know, I'm so sorry for your circumstances and I and I do understand how it feels to be frustrated. But let me speak a couple of things to you. You know, number one, I want to encourage you to find a really good church. And there's a few of them. And I want to encourage you to find a place that teaches the Word of God. I want to encourage you to find a place that gives you opportunities for fellowship. And by fellowship, I mean uh, uh, to develop relationships that will encourage you in the faith. You know, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. And literally what it means in, in, our, in our vernacular today is uh, not is, is we need to make sure that we spend time with others who have a like-minded faith. You know, we need to be encouraged. And we need to be supported. And we need those in our lives that will pray for us and love us and lead us in our relationship with Christ. And so I really encourage you to find a great church. And, and this radio program, I think, could help you do that and give you some really great recommendations. The second thing is this. You've got to be decided. You've got to be decided that God is number one. You've got to be decided that this relationship with the Lord has first place in your life and nothing comes before God. You know, this world today will offer plenty of opportunities for you to fall away. This world today will give plenty of opportunities to become discouraged in your relationship with Christ. In fact, you and I can be discouraged in our relationship with Christ. We can be persecuted in our relationship with Christ. And you know, around the world today, we're so blessed here in the United States, we don't have the kind of persecution that many suffer. But in our world today, there are people who are harmed, their families are harmed, and some are even murdered for their faith. But you know what? They're decided. God comes first. I can tell you after many years of being Christian that there have been times in my life whenever I've been really frustrated and I felt like giving up and I've been discouraged in my faith. And I, I think a lot of Christians could say that today, that they've had times of real discouragement. But I can tell you after all these years that God is number one. Wherever God says to go, I'll go. God comes first and I love Him more than any other relationship in my life. He's the most prominent part of my life, and I want to encourage you to give God that place in your life as well. To make Him number one, and to never give up, and to never give in, and to never let anyone have that position, or never let anything have that position in your life. Always make sure God is first. Well, I'm sorry for your discouragement, but I want to encourage you. If you need help in this area, uh, there are people that would like to communicate with you. You could reach us in a couple of ways. First of all, uh, this radio program's Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash ROR Ministries. If you have more questions about this question or something completely unrelated, you can reach me at my church's Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Heartland Christian Center, or you can reach me at my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Pastor Craig Online. God bless you for listening this evening. I'll be praying for you. Amen.